Well, good morning there, Sister Lorraine. Hmm, what you reading? A book. Well, I can see that, but well, what's, what's the name of it? Where'd you get it? Well, I belong to this book club in the month, and every month they send me a new selection. And this time they send me something by some guy named Charlie Darwin, and it's called Natural Selection. Well, probably you're just going to start up here pretty quick, and boy, I don't know if I'd be branching that thing around the, the right Reverend Billy Bob, because I don't think he takes real kindly to that particular book. Why, uh, why is that? What are you two lovebirds discussing over there? Well, I got this book, Pastor, and... Let me see that. Young lady, this is heresy. Blatant heresy. You've been reading. Well, I don't know about heresy, but... I just want to find out how old Charlie Darwin did his picking and choosing. You know, how he made his selections. Put them handy in my line of work. You know, I, I keep finding a lot of these boys are pretty unnatural. Well, that ain't no instruction manual. And it ain't seemly to be packing that thing here in cowboy church. Some children might see it. Well, it, it kind of explains why there were so many different kinds of dinosaurs and other little critters like uh, and things in the Galapagos. He was studying iguanas, Sister Lorraine. Iguanas? Did they be like kiwanas? I had a couple of them come around once. Now listen here. First of all, you know, there ain't no such thing as dinosaurs. Well, what are all those bones they find in Utah with all them gigantic teeth? Them fossils were planted there by the enemy to deceive true believers. Deceiving them? Into doing what? Well, not coming to church for one thing. Besides, them scientists fellas say that it took millions and billions and billions of years for these amoebas to turn into Tyrannosaurus Rex. And from there, to be chimpanzees and orangutanians and stuff that eventually, they say, becomes us. I ain't no monkey's uncle. Well, that could probably be debated pretty successfully in a forensics club or something. What's a forensic club supposed to be? Well, it's kind of like where they debate two sides of an issue and the winning position prevails. Well, that's what I want to find, a winning position. I keep running into all these losers. Gets me tied up like a pretzel sometimes. This me too. Orville the sound man says we're about ready to go. Hey, pastor. You got 30 seconds. Hmm. Them boys in the rodeo, you know, they usually go about eight. <laughs> Before they get bucked off. Take your positions. Five, four, three, two. Why? Because we love you. What I'd love to find out is how about the good Lord went about designing them dinosaurs. It was pretty creative, if you ask me. Sister, we're on the air. Good evening out there in Radio Land to all the true believers. We're here having a discussion just now about that infamous Charles Darwin and his wicked book. He called it Natural Selection. He's an evolutionist, you all know. And that goes against Genesis, because everybody knows who reads the good book that the planet is only 6,000 years old. I mean, just ask Sarah Palin. Oh, yeah. She was that pretty lady that was a gubernator up there in Alaska, wasn't she? Actually, she wanted to be the vice president. In charge of vice, huh? Your taste stays loose. The good book does talk about there being giants in the earth once upon a time. Couldn't rightly expect old Noah to put them critters on the ark, though. They might have done eat all the unicorns. Well, that don't mean he didn't create them. I mean... He even named one after himself. Huh? Yeah, I saw it in a movie. Its name was Godzilla. <clears throat> what say we kick this thing off with a little music here, yours truly? Got to me, myself, and I, gospel airs, all fit and ready to go? We're ready, Pastor. How about you, Sister Lorraine? Oh, I'm always ready. Well, let's kick it off with one that's a kind of a tribute to our beloved pastor here. <laughs> About the monkey's uncle, 
Billy Bob's monkey's uncle. Whoa, whoa! I ain't no monkey's uncle. And there ain't no grandpa here for me. I don't care what the whole world thinks. I ain't no monkey's uncle. Well, you sure look like the missing link. I ain't no monkey's uncle. Knock off this monkey's shines. There's no chimpanzees in my family line. The grand is swinging from a tree. I'm descended from Adam and Eve. We're singing about the monkey's uncle. Billy Bob's the monkey's uncle. Whoa, whoa. I ain't no monkey's uncle and there ain't no grandpa here for me. When you're preaching, you jump up and down. Cause you're a monkey's uncle. Churches like the circus just came to town. Featuring a monkey's uncle. This here ain't no jungle gym. Repent if you wanna be with him. Cause I ain't no monkey's uncle and I ain't got no monkey's aunt. I feel a trembling coming on. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, ting, ting, wallah, wallah, bing, bing. Now, sister, talk off that gifted tongue. You don't need that around here. You don't need to worry, Pastor. You ain't getting no gifts. You big ape. You're nothing but a knuckle dragon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't got no chimpanzee. Scratch a please and hang in my family tree. It was a bride, a groom. And the lion serpent hanging around in the tree. Looks like it won the booby prize. Cause he's a monkey's uncle. Walk up all these monkey shines. I ain't no monkey's uncle. He made man one of a kind. So I'm telling you this one more time. There ain't no gorillas in my family line. And I ain't no monkey's uncle. Why well, you look like a missing link. Uh-uh, ain't no monkey's uncle. Swinging in a tree, eating a banana. I know who my father is. And I'm pretty sure about my mama. And neither one of them is a chimpanzee. And I don't appreciate the inference about my mother. Well, Pastor, it wasn't no mother we were singing about. Well, wait a minute, that, that might be a misnomer. Okay, okay. Let's put aside talking about dinosaurs and great, 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 great orangutans or whatever. And let's get back to the creative designer. Well, he did design one of your forebears. Hit it, boys. There's a man in Genesis we all know. He lived in Eden a long time ago. God told him he could eat everything that grew, except one. So the snake gave him an apple and he had some too. He was the first man to be alive. Found out he was naked so he ran to hide. He started kicking when she saw his side. Well, it wasn't one of them giants I was talking about. He had a chauffeur who was a dinosaur. No Flintstone car with foot power. Had a big old club and a handful of hair. He started screaming, but he didn't care. a cave and tossed her in. That's where they committed the original sin. When it was over, she should do it again. But by then he done lost his wind. Oh! So he went about replenishing the earth. Adam went about it for all it was worth. Then he noticed that he was gaining some girl. And she said, Is this thing you need to make my butt look fat? And he said yes. And you know what happened? And his lip was too. Oop, oop, oops. Adam, oop, oop, oops. Adam, oop, oop, oops. Where do you get this name? Adam, oops. Well, he and he were the 
dude that first committed the original accident. Moving on, I think it's time for the finale, yes, truly. Okay, boss. This should wrap everything together. Bring things to resolution. Where to knows how long it took to make the world. The good Lord may have used evolution. Where to knows? None of us here were there. And if you're talking about talking snakes. I'm afraid that you can tell me out. Oh, yes, true, you know it's gonna be all right. Don't you know it's gonna be all right? Just come on home with me tonight. You know you need to be a little less uptight. I think I've got a solution. Well, you know. Find out what the Bible really said. And all this confusion, well, you know. Genesis ain't all I read. But if you go burning books like you do now, the EPA is going to take you down. That's what happened to the angel of light. Him and Michael, they uh, take out in a fight. A thousand year days is one thing, but he just couldn't keep it up all night. And an archangel do have to have his rest, you know. Now see here, boy. If you go changing one jar of tittle in that book, you're going to be in trouble. Here's a jar of tittle? So cash in the middle? Well, it could be, I suppose, if you all want to make a little contribution. We done got rid of the ushers. Don't need no middleman. I just give the play the helping hand. I wouldn't worry about no evolution. Well, you know, that just wasn't in the good Lord's plan. We're gonna change the Constitution. Because we're under God and we might pull the absolution. Well, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. All right. All right. Folks out there in Radio Land, it's time to say good night. We'll see you next time around here at Cowboy Church. God willing, and we don't lie. Oh, I hope it doesn't. I don't want to get my head wet. Huh, what you're wearing, you'd have to go strolling in the deep end. Hmm, maybe the good Lord will give me some water wings. Well, maybe I'll ask the Lord to give you some holy dainties, because after all, you'd be up in the clouds. We'd be down here looking up. Not to mention them angels when you do your somersaults. You know, Pastor, sometimes you're a real homo erectus. Uh, is it showing? Uh, excuse me, homie don't use. <laughs>